This is a little bit of a weird uh, video for me to make. I don't normally do any sort of fashion content on uh, the internet, but uh, I just wanted to do a little comparison between the Walker Vietnam uh, Guidi dupes and some real Guidis. I'm in the weird position of owning a good number of back zip boots uh, in my sort of quest for finding a pair of Guidis for cheap, and uh, I ended up with a real pair, so let's compare them. Okay, before we get into the other boots, let's start with these. I bought these as a quick sort of just styling test to see if um, I would like styling guidis, if I liked the way they looked. I believe these are from Free People. They are the worst quality leather I've ever seen. It is so thin and terrible. It has a decent stacked heel, but the toe shape is just like atrocious. There's this weird cap the leather is so thin, there's just nothing to like about these. So I would definitely recommend if you're going to look for a pair of Guidi dupes, at least look for ones that are like literal Guidi dupes and maybe not try to find like some of these cheaper back zips because this didn't really tell me much other than just like I need to search for something else. All right, now these are the uh, Walker Vietnam Guidi dupes. I think all in all, they're generally, they look really good. Uh, the wrinkling, definitely the sort of stacking of the leather, which is the thing you want from Guidis, is generally quite good. Um, I think the shape is good. I like the shape of the toe box. I like this stacked heel. I think just generally the shape and quality feels generally pretty good. I will say they came in smelling real heavy of um, nail polish remover. It took like three, four days for that to really fully go away. It's pretty nasty. Now, these are modeled after the Guidi uh, 788s, and I have a Guidi 988 here, just to compare, and uh, I think you'll immediately notice like the leather quality here just looks a lot better. The stacking is much larger, um, which granted is different on the 988s from the 788s, but the leather quality here is just dramatically better. Now, I was hoping the leather quality on these would be quite good. The leather is actually quite thin, but what they've done is they've doubled up, but they've added two layers to the um, ankle of the boot to give it a little bit more thickness, which does help. I will say the leather quality I was hoping would be better. It looks quite nice at a distance, but you'll notice on the toe that I've scuffed... Uh, I've scuffed the toe a little bit, and instead of, like, scuffing down to the leather, it's actually, like, gouged into the leather. And the leather is some sort of gray leather. It's not, like, a regular leather color. Um, so I'm not sure what's happening there. It definitely feels cheap and, like, it's going to flake off in that case. And I don't love that I would have to be careful with a pair of leather boots. Now, by contrast, I'm going to pull in a pair of Doc Martens that I've had for a long time, and you can see the toe here scuffed down to the leather, but it's only scuffed through the um, through the leather dye. It hasn't actually scuffed, like it hasn't gouged into the leather in the same way. And this is a pair of maybe $150, $170 Doc Martens. Um, but I feel like the leather quality is much, much better. It's much thicker, uh, much more solid. Now with the actual Guidis, the leather is quite a bit thinner. It's actually about as thin as the leather on the... Uh, Walker Vietnams, but it's just much higher quality leather, and it's definitely a much sturdier boot. I would say it's pretty similar to the uh, Doc Martens. I think the fit of these is very good. You'll notice some details that are a little different uh, on these boots versus the real Guidis. One being there's a much more uh, squared off shaped toe box, which is not true of real Guidis. They have a much more rounded uh, toe box, which is more a styling thing, um, whether you like that or dislike it. I actually kind of prefer this um, more squared off toe, personally. Um, I would also say the Guidis run quite a bit thinner. You'll notice on the Guidis that they are have this sort of um, very round toe shape, and they run very thin through here. So if you have wide feet, that might be a problem. And then these have a much uh, more defined contour through the shape of the shoe. So you can see they widen out quite a bit towards uh, the widest part of your foot and then narrow towards the toe, which I kind of like the, the definition there. So that's up to you. I would say, are Guidis worth it? No, they're far too expensive. Um, 
if you can find them for very cheap, which is what I did with these, these are not necessarily in the best condition, um, then maybe go for it. But uh, I would say if you're kind of balancing between these, uh, you know, real guidis and alternatives, it's really just dependent on the price and, and what you need. If you're willing to be very careful uh, with something like this and not scuff them up too much or, or you're okay with them getting a little beat up, then um, maybe go with these. If you are looking for something that's going to be a much more higher quality boot, maybe go with the Guidis or maybe find some other alternative like just getting a pair of Doc Martens or some other high quality boots. Um, Solivare, also a good option. So make your own choices. Live your own life. <laughs>